All right, we have Dan Hansis and Greg Rose with all the bros on the couch. Wow. Here. We're just chilling. Hanging out. Just hanging out. And you're the girl that can hang with the guys. It's great. Yes, right? Here we are. We're going through some news, just like every other day. Listen, you do uh, your end around every week. Yes. It's uh, what a column. on Fridays, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a Friday uh -huh. uh, excursion. It's, it's a nice like some little roundup. Some yeah. people take football so seriously. This the lighter side of it. Yeah, you know? not but us. But it's not fluff not right either. Now. It has some substance. It does. Like the first right. story here. Aaron yes. Rodgers and Chris Pratt are BFFs, apparently. Yeah, this is the substance that I was talking about. Here's an Instagram <laughs> sent by actress Olivia Munn, who's in a relationship with Aaron Rodgers. First of all, who knew that these two guys are friends? Chris Pratt's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest movie stars in the game right now. Aaron Rodgers, the best quarterback on the planet. And they're grilling. Well, they can't cook. Well, that's. I the, thought that was beef jerky. That's the problem. It that's like it's a little well done. I, I first of all, weird. It was like a revelation that they were friends. Okay, and then like what? What's going on? You can't grill a steak. Like neither of those guys can grill some meat. And you would think Aaron Rodgers is a leader. Chris Pratt seems like a guy's guy. Yeah. Somebody can grill some cow. I mean, no. they got to work on May that. Maybe sure. it's just the conversation was so compelling between the two of them. You don't get a chance to hang out with old Pratt that you, you stop um, paying attention. Well, also, after we learned about the Aaron Rodgers UFO story on the Pete Holmes podcast, mm -hmm. he's probably got some uh, yarn spinners. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Also, Olivia Munn and Anna Faris, they are friends as well, which um, That's what that, was them a, together. that was part of the there whole uh, story there. Okay. There how about go. this next one? The Titans, it was movie night for season ticket holders. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how they're greeted. This is, all right. <laughs> So the Titans, they just traded the number one pick. They got a buttload of picks back. The, the entire franchise is, the future of the franchise is hanging in the balance. It's a horror movie. And well, Kids are this running, is a time where you mothers need the, holding their babies. Yeah, you need the Titans operation to be as sharp as possible. And this is what we find out happens this weekend, a movie night, Minions. And they got the sprinklers going off. I'm very worried about their draft classes over the next two years now. Should I be connecting the dots, Greg? The, the, those sprinklers were the equivalent of the DeMarco Murray trade, essentially. That was like the real-life <laughs> representation. All right, so a little foreboding there. I mean, come on. I mean, Colleen, that's a bad sign. It's not good at all. This, I mean, that's how you treat your season ticket holders, too? You should hear, if you, if you check out the end round column, you could listen to the audio just screaming children. It's really almost a, a well, terrifying thing to watch. think about it. You're relaxed. Watch. You're sitting there. What if sprinklers just started right now? Nothing could frighten me more. I'm sure they'll have a great draft. <laughs> I know. That's right. Finally, Earl Thomas, he got married. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, there that. he is in his crown and cape. That's right. a lot of presents for your groomsmen. First right of all, there. that's a lot. Of, there's a lot of groomsmen there. That's uh, Jamal Charles II from the right. But let's look right in the middle and look at Earl Thomas. Hashtag stay humble. He's wearing a cape. Look at him going down the aisle with a cape and a crown. By um, the way, who, who goes down the aisle like this? That's not how weddings usually go. Listen, so. Dan, he's probably dreamed about this moment since he was a little boy. Why do you gotta police his wedding though? Why can't he dress up in any costume he likes? This does his not wedding. look. In, this doesn't look this? insane to you. There shouldn't be a costume. <laughs> there shouldn't it's be a, a costume when you get married. I'm, I'm all for you know. You don't have to take weddings too seriously. You can do things whatever you want. Doesn't have to, each one doesn't have to You're, be the exact same. Greg's a contrarian by nature, so he's doing this. But we're all all three of us are married. We we know what the wedding. The wedding is it's the it's the bride's day. That's the, fair. The husband's job is to be. Uh, look as best as possible, uh -huh. be a pro. Uh, and wear but, a tiara sometimes. Uh, it's not your day, it's her day. He's trying to make it his day. Where's her crown? Where's you know, her tiara? I think it's okay. I think they're sharing this day you together. It doesn't have to just right. be Maybe the Maybe support, she supports him being the king uh, on this day. She knows what it means to him. He's Maybe got, that was her tiara, and he was mm, like, this one's for me. This one's for me. <laughs> I'm happy for Earl Thomas. I'm happy that he's found love. I hope it lasts forever. Yeah. So you, you choose to celebrate that happiness by picking on his wedding. I'm just going to say in like 10, 15 years when he opens up the wedding album, He's probably going to do a so? little bit of a groan mm. all right. and a cringe. Well, you can uh, read all sorts of news just like this every week from Dan Hansis at NFL.com slash Thanks, man. You're welcome, Dan. Good plug. Yeah.